Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog sessions. In this session, I am going to discuss about virtual keyword in System Vlog classes. So in this session, we are going to understand what is virtual method and how it is different from the normal methods. And we will see one example at the end of the session. Okay, and also we will discuss what is abstract class. Okay. So the virtual keyword is used while defining the class method and the class itself. So virtual keyword we can use with the methods. Methods is nothing but either function or task. Okay, and we can also use it with the class itself. Then it is called abstract class. Abstract class is nothing but virtual class. Okay, so we will discuss in detail. A virtual method is a virtual function or task from the base class which can be overridden by the method of its child class having the same signature. Okay, same signature means same method name or arguments. Signature means method name and arguments. Okay, same signature means it should have the same method name, same function name and arguments number also should be same. Okay, so we'll see what is the difference between using virtual keyword and without using the virtual keyword. If you remember in the last session, I have explained one code, right? Uh, in that code, what I have done, I have assigned the child class handle to the base class handle. I had a same display function in both base class and subclass base class and extended class i have the same method and same arguments everything is same okay then i called the method by using the base class handle b dot display i called b dot display what i have got i got i got the method which is present in the base class that means base class display method i got right so if you use the virtual keyword with that display function which is present in the base class then you will get the child class method okay because if you use the virtual keyword it allows the over overriding okay that will be overridden by the method of its child class having the same signature so basically we what we can see child class will override the base class method right that is inheritance concept child class can override the base class methods but in this method in here if you use the virtual keyword with the base class function then base class can override the child class method okay this is how virtual keyword helps so this we will use this virtual keyword in the polymorphism concept okay there it will be used in order to perform the polymorphism we use this virtual keyword so i will explain in detail when we are explaining the when i am explaining the polymorphism concept okay first we'll understand the use of virtual keyword so once a virtual keyword is used for the base class method all the corresponding methods in the derived classes become virtual so we, we may have multiple in inherited classes right for the base class so if you use the virtual keyword with the function or met, uh, function or task in the base class all the corresponding methods in the derived class become virtual what what are all the methods present in the derived class if it if it has a three uh, inherited class three extended class all these three inherited class will have the virtual method for example base class has a virtual display function in the it, it has three inherited classes three child classes okay in all the child classes the display method what is display method will be the right all the display methods are virtual only if you declare or don't declare if you mention it or don't mention it is virtual by default when the base class method is virtual okay you don't need to write virtual display in the child class method it becomes the virtual only so syntax is virtual function while display and function nothing you have to include virtual keyword here before the function okay virtual function and the method name or whether it is a function or task that should you have to write so virtual keyword you have to use and one more thing is here i have here i made one table okay here base class external class and method called in an interview they will ask okay in generally they will ask as if you have a base class and extended class if your base class method is non virtual and the extended class is also non virtual and i'm calling the method by using the base class handle which method i will get this questions they will ask that time you can remember if you remember this chart it will be very easy you don't need to think only okay so that's why i made this table you don't have to remember if you remember the concept clearly okay this is for beginners so this is very helpful uh, when you are learning this polymorphism concept and all so this in this table what i have written is base class so nv means non virtual and v means virtual if you have a same method name same signature okay same method name and arguments in both base class and child class that time if you 
in if you write non virtual if you have a non virtual method in base class and non virtual method in extended class then what is the output you will get the extended class method okay you will get the extended class method whatever it is you will get the extended method and if your base class method is non virtual and extended class method is virtual then also you will get the extended method and if your base class method is virtual and extended class method is non virtual then you will get the base class method and if your base class method is virtual and extended class method is virtual both are virtual then you will get the base method only by seeing this table you can understand that if the base class is virtual irrespective of the extended class you will get the base method okay if your base class has non virtual method irrespective of the extended class methods you will get the extended class methods okay this is one thing you can remember no need to remember this table okay if you have a base in if you have a virtual methods in base class don't need to um, look at the extended class you will get the base class method and if your base class method is non virtual then you will get the extended class method then you need to remember which object you have assigned based on that that child class method will be executed but the thing is that child class method only executed not the base class method okay so this is one thing we can uh, remember so we'll go to the example now so this is the example same example i have explained in the last video also but again i will tell okay so this is the base class i have a display function okay and this is the subclass i have the same display function so the, what i have explained till now that can be seen when you have a same method and signature okay same method name and the signature same arguments okay here i don't have any arguments if you have arguments also same okay so here you can see in the module i am instantiating the two uh, met, uh, two classes base class and sub class and i am allocating the memory for the child class now i am assigning the child class handle to the base class this is the important step you need to do this okay i am assigning the child class handle to the base class handle and i am giving the values by using child class handle and by using the parent class handle and now i am calling the method by using the base class handle okay i am calling the method by using the base class handle now you can see i don't have any virtual keyword here if you don't have any virtual keywords this is the normal method what happens if we call the method by using the base class handle we will get the base class method only here you can see base class method i am getting so in the chart also i have the say i have told the same thing okay if you were if you were base class method is non virtual non virtual means here i have not used the virtual keyword if your base class method is non virtual irrespective of the child class method whether it is a virtual or non virtual you will get the base class method here i will show you okay i am using virtual keyword with the child class method now i will run the code again i will get base class method only because irrespective of the child class method you will get the base class method only output will be extended class output okay here you can see base so but when you have a virtual keyword with the base class method when you have the virtual keyword with the base class method it will be overridden by the child class method okay this method will be overridden by the child class method virtual keyword we mainly use for overriding okay overriding purpose so now irrespective of the child class method whether it is virtual or non virtual when it is virtual when the base class method is virtual you will get the child class method here you can see sub sub means sub class 10 and 2 we are getting this 10 and 2 we are getting because now our base class method is virtual here i will use virtual keyword okay with a child class also till now it was non virtual now it is virtual here also i have told you irrespective of the child class method whether it, whether it is virtual or non virtual if your base class is virtual we will get the base class sorry child class method okay why child class method because when we use the virtual keyword with the base class method it will be overridden by the child class see so this is the use of virtual methods now i will use the arguments okay i will use the arguments because we know when you have a same method name and arguments name when you have a same signature okay int a comma int b okay data and id i am using
so now i have used this values 5 and 1 okay and i'm passing passing this arguments and i have same method name and same arguments same number of arguments are same data and id data and id now i will get the values okay Five and one. You can give any values here, not only base class handle. Now I will get ten and two because I am using state class handle here. Ten and two I am getting and subclass method. Now we will change the arguments number okay same signature i will not use so here two arguments i have but in child class i have only one argument okay now i will run here i am passing two arguments because child class has two arguments right i am getting error please make sure that correct number of arguments are specified this me this message you will get if you don't uh, give the correct arguments same number of arguments so in order to achieve the overriding so this base class method will be overridden by the child class when when you have the same signature same signature means same method name display and same arguments here if you have two argument if you have two arguments here you need to have two arguments you must have two arguments otherwise you will get this error okay this is all about virtual keyword 